Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Before I get into the content, if you find this video helpful at all throughout the duration, go ahead and smash that like button. Man, it really helps build this channel. Now, today we're going to be looking at the export feature inside of On One Photo Raw or export module, however you want to look at it. When you are inside of the browse module or the browse window, you can select an image and come down to the bottom right, click on export. This is going to bring you into the export module. Now, I really, really like using this module. Uh, as you can see, I've been working through here and what I'm going to do is just reset everything so you can see what it looks like from the beginning to the end. Now. The first thing that you're going to want to do is select your photo size by checking inside of the blue circle it'll fill it in and then give you access to updating custom settings now depending on where you want this image to go this is where your custom settings are going to come in i want this print to be a five by seven so i'm going to come over here to photographic by clicking on the drop down next to custom and click on photographic and hit five by seven. That makes sure that my dimensions meet what I needed to do. Now you can change your resolution and you can change it from uh, PPI to PPC. I leave it on PPI and whenever I'm printing to physical paper, I always leave it at 300 PPI. I haven't had any issues. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys run into issues or what setting you would recommend. Now, the next thing is the image type. I leave this on general on one resize, right? Uh, but you can play around with all of these things. I personally have not because the result that I'm looking for, I tend to get right here with those settings. The next, the next window will be your watermark. Now, I'm not gonna export this image with a watermark because I don't need a watermark on this image. However, if you're posting to social media and you wanna put a watermark in the bottom right-hand corner, you can absolutely do that by uploading and then clicking the bottom right position. By default, it's going to put the watermark right into the center of your photo, and I don't think that ever looks good. But if you have a watermark with your signature and like your photography brand and a, maybe a logo, you can just go ahead and drop that in there, put it in the bottom right or the bottom left, however that works out for you. Now, so the next thing is gonna be sharpening. Uh, whenever I export an image, I'm either going to leave it on print so that way I can actually print this thing out. It's going to sharpen or I'm going to move this all the way down to screen and that'll work out perfectly fine. Uh, this is if I'm putting it on to social media or anything of that sort, then I put it on screen because guess what? You're looking at the image on a screen. Now, once I have that set, uh, I move. I don't even mess with tiling. I move on to gallery wrap if I'm printing onto a canvas. This allows me to move all of the information onto the sides of the canvas so that way, you know, the image uh, wraps the whole thing. That's what the gallery wrap is for. And I usually leave it on a thickness of two, uh, although you can absolutely move this to a one and it gives you a little bit more information. And I also leave this on reflect. You can hit the drop down here if you'd like and change it from reflect to soft to stretch or to soft stretch. I personally have never needed to use any of those things, uh, but experiment with it because, you know, that's just the fun of having a piece of software. Now, I'm going to minimize the gallery wrap and get into the two things that really, really matter. Okay, first thing is choosing the file type that you want to export. You either are going to export this as a JPEG, you're going to export this as a Photoshop, you can see the options there, right? Now, I never use Photoshop or Photoshop large document because if I wanna go into Photoshop, I'm just gonna right click and send this off to Photoshop, do my edits, and then I bring it back into On One because this is my raw catalog. Right, I put all of my images in here, so no need for me to export this into Photoshop. 
uh, and I don't work outside of myself, so I'm not sending these files off to anyone. But I do send most of my files into JPEG or into TIFF. Now, um, depending on what I'm trying to do, if I'm printing something and I want to preserve colors and, and, you know, just have a more or a less compressed image, then I absolutely send it off to the photo lab as a TIFF. All right. Uh, but 95% of my work stays as a JPEG because I can choose the quality. Now, if I am physically printing, like for this image, it's going to be a five by seven. I want to print this onto paper. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the quality at a hundred and I leave the color space in Adobe RGB. You can move it to sRGB or any one of these other ones. Uh, check with your print lab, see what they recommend. But I leave mine on Adobe RGB and then I move on to my location. Now this is where you're actually going to save the file. You can choose wherever you want. I typically always export into the folder that the original lives in. It just makes it easier for me to find what I'm looking for uh, down the line, all right? So that's why I don't move them into any extra folder or whatever. I just go with current folder and I drop the bad boy in there because the last thing that I do is I open up the rename. Now this is where you really, really, really make your money, all right? I don't use current name. I always start with text and I will label this uh, the dimension. So this is going to be a five by seven. And then I go underscore and then I hit this plus sign. I do another text. This one is Christmas decor. And then I do another underscore and then I hit the plus icon bring myself into the drop down and this time I'm going to hit serial number and this will be number one. Now, what's cool about on one is it gives you this display right here so you can see what your file name is going to be when you get ready to export it. So I can see that I have five by seven underscore Christmas decor underscore one and that works for me. When you're ready to go, you just go ahead and hit export and boom, your photo is exporting into the folder and you can see where it's at. You can hit the drop down, see what images it's actually exporting. As you can see, it's 1039.cr3 and we have 1039.cr3 uh, and it's now done. So I can go to the folder and find that. Now, one of the things that I didn't show you is when you export an image, you have the ability to save it as a preset or at least the settings. So if I know that I'm always exporting in five by sevens, I don't really care about the name that goes here, but I know that this is the, the naming file format, uh, JPEG, 100% quality, the sharpening for print. That means that I'm ready to print this because guess what? This is a five by seven. I can literally come down here to presets and I can hit the little drop down icon, hit save preset with settings and go ahead and type this as a five by seven print and hit create. So now if I want to replicate those exact same settings, if I come back into the export module, all I have to do is hit the drop down here and I can select these. Now, as you can see, I have some of my presets already in here. Uh, one of the things that I use a lot is Instagram portrait. Uh, obviously, if you're sending stuff to the gram, you want to make sure that you have it in the right format. Um, it takes a little while sometimes for all of that to populate. But as you can see, I now have this ready to go in the format that I need it for, for Instagram. I have my 1080 by 1350 pixels, 300 DPI. It's four screen. The quality is at 75 because uh, compression and all that good stuff that you're going to get when it uploads. 
I don't need that much quality on the export. And then uh, obviously the folder, I'm choosing a different folder apparently this time around. Don't know why that is, but whatever. Uh, oh, that's going into my JPEGs folder, that's why. And then I have the naming convention. This one's slightly different because for my IG, I, I would just click in between those two underscores, hit Christmas decor, and boom, there you have it. The exact same breakdown. Uh, this stands for Instagram portrait underscore Christmas decor underscore number one. I would hit export and that bad boy would go. And from there, I could deliver to a client, upload to the website, whatever I'm going to do. Now, if you found value in today's video, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps this channel grow and I greatly appreciate it. And if you're new to On One Photo Raw, consider hitting that subscribe button. I upload a lot of tutorials talking about On One Photo Raw and I just want to help you learn how to use the software that you got here. So until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.